Hi everybody, we're here at Elevate Durham with Dr. Kata. I'm sitting down to talk about some practical tips and pearls in treating obesity and um, in our dermatology patients. So Dr. Kata, um, how do you start that conversation with our, with our patients about weight? It's such a sensitive topic, right? It's such a sensitive topic. It's such an important topic. It, it is, and, and we don't even want to write down our own weights, right? Yeah, that's so, true. So how do you do it? Yeah, so you're absolutely right. It's a very sensitive topic. It is very important though, because we know obesity can interact and uh, you know it can lead to an increased risk for comorbidities. And there's a lot of interesting research showing that it may play a role in making certain inflammatory skin diseases worse. So in terms of having that conversation, the most important thing is to make sure that you are not blaming your patient in any way. So we do have research showing that obesity is not considered a risk factor for psoriasis and for developing psoriasis. So I like to tell my patients, it's not your fault, but it is your challenge. And I say that it's your challenge because it is, um, you know, it's important. It increases your risk for diabetes and other things. Um, so in terms of how I would say it to a patient, I would gently ask them, you know, I noticed that you have an increased BMI. Is that something that you've discussed with your primary care physician? If they say yes, you know, that's probably about all. But if they are interested in learning more, if they say no, or if they say, is that something that I need to be worried about in terms of my psoriasis or in terms of my skin disease, then I think we can take our cues from them and then follow up in that conversation. But it is something that you have to be very careful about. But I think we have an important, I think we have an important opportunity to be able to educate our patients. Yeah, you know, it reminds me, I had a patient that once said that, you know, her, her psoriasis wasn't happening to her, it was happening for her. And she said that that was the opportunity that, you know, she could have a better relationship with herself. She could um, control her thoughts better, that she could control her weight. And I just thought that's, that's so empowering, right? That is absolutely um, empowering. So she wasn't watering the weeds. She was focusing on the good and, and grateful for that opportunity for her to grow and learn from that challenge. Yeah. Um, so talking about, awesome. talking about micro and macro food products um, in treating inflammatory um, skin conditions. Can you tell me a little bit about those? Oh yeah, sure. So a lot of times, you know, patients know that psoriasis is a chronic inflammatory skin disease. And so sometimes what they're asking is, what should I be eating to fight inflammation? And that's actually a complex question because there's not a single food or a single nutrient that we can say, okay, eat this all the time and you're gonna be set. Instead, it's, um, it's important to sort of pay attention to your entire diet, you know, not just diet, but your lifestyle as well. Um, we don't have a lot of research that a particular food or a particular supplement can combat psoriasis, but there are certain foods, macronutrients, micronutrients that have been shown to combat inflammation, you know, general inflammation as measured by serum inflammatory biomarkers. And one of the most anti-inflammatory is fiber. So I think, you know, there's other things that get a lot of press, you know, turmeric, um, omega-3 fatty acids, and those are anti-inflammatory, but fiber is actually one of the most anti-inflammatory. And then if you're looking at foods, turmeric, mm -hmm. onions, mm -hmm. ginger, garlic, those are all highly anti-inflammatory foods when you're looking at those. So I think any way that patients can incorporate any or all of those into their diet is going to help them general in general with a more anti-inflammatory diet. Well, great, those were wonderful tips. So thanks for joining us. We're so glad to be here. We miss you all here in Austin and we thank you for joining us.